toes and I can't feel anything underneath my ankles. I think they're crazy. Well, it must be that time again. Crystal Cup Pond Hockey on Charlie Lake is back for the 2015 High on Ice Festival. Since the first year we blossomed, uh, every year it just gets bigger and better. More sponsors, more stuff on site, more, more stuff to do. This four-on-four -four tournament, consisting of two 15-minute halves, has strict rules of no hitting. All played on a 70 by 140 foot rink. Founder Neil Evans arrived in style on a helicopter, making quite the entrance. Hello, hello. One of our uh, sponsors, Bailey Helicopters and uh, Eagle Vision, they go up with us every year and they do a lot of uh, aerial footage for us and videotaping for a site. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. And they, uh, they're more than happy doing uh, some rides. Uh, Dave Babich went up with uh, we a winner from the kids tournament, so they're going up right now, taking off. And yeah, it's a really good time. The tournament entices players from all over the Peace region and the rest of the province. So warmth from the minus 30 degree weather is a must. We've had live music both nights, Road War and last night and the Montney Coolies tonight. And uh, we have a big beautiful ice bar that uh, I think he's the world champion of ice carving, came down here to, uh, Thursday and carved it up for us. And uh, Jesse Forster and the guys there. So uh, really cool attraction, really cool feature to have in our gardens along with the live music and all that. So really cool. At times, the temperatures dip to minus 40 with a wind chill. But as they say, this is the Canadian way. Because we're Canadian and we love hockey that much. It's actually true. It's like Americans love baseball. Same thing, right? Uh, honestly, I think it's a passion for hockey. Uh, you get a lot of guys out here and they'll brave whatever weather's uh, coming at them. And uh, love, they love the game, whatever the weather. The High on Ice weekend is and has been a staple in the energetic city for years. And Evans wants to thank everyone who makes it all possible. A huge thank you to the sponsors. We had lots of sponsors come out of the woodwork this year, like guys just coming down the lake, saw what was going on and wanted to get involved. So they came on down and uh, I mean, we can't thank all the guys enough, all the sponsors and volunteers that make really cool community events like this happen. The spirit of Fort St. John and the spirit of winter, for sure.